Hi, George Spicer, Mrs. Thomas here again. I'm in my garden today. It's a beautiful sunny day, so I thought I'd use this opportunity to get outside and do some planting and show you around my garden. Um, this is my decking area, and over here we have some potatoes growing. Now, I didn't buy anything for these, I just got an old potato. And as you can see here, when they start to sprout an eye, you can leave them in the sun and then some shoots appear. And then as soon as that happens, you can put them in the ground and they will grow lots and lots of potatoes. And you can even chop off each eye separately and each one that you chop off will, be, will form a new potato plant. So I'm just gonna leave that there for a moment. So here we have some rosemary, it goes nice with lamb. I'm not sure what these are called. We've got some acanthus here, some nasturtiums here. And we have honesty, and this is a form of uh, a wild edible leek. Okay, but this is going to be a fig tree. You can see, look, the baby figs are forming there, but it's not actually sprouted yet. Now, this is my raspberry patch, and if you come and have a sort of close up look, you can see that these will soon be raspberries and in about two weeks time we'll have bowls of raspberries we've got rhubarb down here right now the main thing I want to show you today was my compost heap and my wormery so let's go to the back of the garden so at the back of the garden I've got three compost heaps this one this one and one over the back and also my wormery now this is where everything starts. I'm just going to hand this over to my daughter, Isabel. So all of my kitchen waste goes in here. Looks really disgusting, doesn't it? And it doesn't smell too nice either. And we build it up in layers. So the bottom layer is the eldest. And as you can see, this is more composted than this. And at the very bottom, we have lovely rich compost. With lots and lots of worms that are doing their job really really well now when this gets to a good point i'll take some of the worms out of here and put them in here and all of this the rest of it will get chucked onto that heap over there and then eventually it gets sieved and this is what it ends up look, looking like and that's what we use for planting our plants now so these worms we're all busy working away at the bottom of this this is very stinky we have what i call i'm not sure what it is but i think it's worm juice or something and i'm going to pick these out and rescue them otherwise they'll drown now this gets poured into here and that is an excellent fertilizer tomatoes in particular and flowers love it you put some of that with some water you don't need very much of it at all and it will feed your plants really, really well. So, put this back together again. Put the worms back into their bed. Put the lid on. So, and that's the compost heap. 